Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Well, <clears throat> USA Today Today, um, news section 7A, says uh, rocketing drug prices drive Medicaid spending. And we're looking at um, 20 commonly used drugs by people who are retired and um, uh, use Medicaid. Uh, these top 20 drugs in Medicaid uh, have gone up from 140% to 500%, okay, which means the spending for just these 20 drugs went from $146 million a year to $486 million a year. And uh, let's see here. They're saying there's 73 million people who almost totally depend on Medicaid to pay for the prescription drugs. And right now, we Americans are spending $57 billion in prescriptions last year, and skyrocketing up 500%. Okay, so we're looking at $250 billion at that rate um, for just expenditures on prescription drugs. Okay, well, singularity is happening. This means that computers and robots are taking over jobs. People just walk up to the kiosk, put their credit card in, and punch in their order, walk up to the counter, and a robot comes down ooh, ooh, and hands you the order. Okay? And I want you to think about longevity as, um, you know, the millennials you have to think about longevity. Uh, remember, our children, the millennials, will be the first generation of Americans that do not live as long as their parents. That is a catastrophic prediction of biblical proportions. Just recently, just a couple of weeks ago, the um, CDC came out and said white middle-class Americans are dying younger and younger and younger. What is going on here? Well, what I want you to do is get a hold of the books Dead Doctors Don't Lie, get a hold of the CD and the DVD by the same title, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, get a hold of the book Epigenetics, the subtitle is The Death of the Genetic Theory Disease Transmission, and get a hold of the CD, Public Enemy Number 1, and the DVD called Somebody Needs to Go to Jail, and get the book Rare Earth Men Cures, and those three books will bring you up to date on what is going on, why we're in trouble here, and what you can do to fix it, okay? You can fix it for yourself and your family, your neighbors, your church mates, but you're going to have to do this thing. The government has failed us. The medical system has failed us. So we want you to think of longevity as Amazon.com. We want you to think of longevity as AutoZone and Pep Boys. We want you to think of longevity as Home Depot and Lowe's. We want you to think of us as self-care. Do it yourself for health, okay? And you can do your own physical. Let's say your doctor will charge your, your um, health insurance $2,000 for a complete physical. You can do the same physical for $4.50. Okay, they're even advertising some of these test strips and some of these tests on TV now. You can go to a pharmacy without a prescription and get test strips for blood tests or urine tests, the equivalent to a colonoscopic exam. You can do your own blood pressure. You can do your own pulse. You can do your own weight. You don't need to spend $2,000 in a doctor's office to do that. You do it all yourself. Okay, $4.50 total. Teach all your family to do that. Think of how much money you're going to save, and you don't have terrible things on your permanent record. If you think you have diabetes, get one of those test strips, about 50 each, for testing your blood sugar in the morning before you eat breakfast. And if you're about 140 and above, you've got diabetes. If you're below 100, you don't have diabetes. You can figure that out yourself. You don't know to need to go to a doctor's office to figure that out. So, again, I want you to get a hold of the books, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the book Epigenetics, the book Rare Earth Men Cheers, <clears throat> and they will teach you how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. Okay? That's Dead Doctors Don't Lie, Epigenetics, and Rare Earths Men Cures. Remember, they're tax deductible. And if you've never owned your own business before, um, you can actually get all the same tax deductions that billionaires get. You can have your company, your longevity company, for a one-time fee of $25. You, you can get the American dream for a one-time fee of $25. It becomes a willable asset. Build your longevity business. And in your business plan, you can say your longevity business is going to pay your monthly premiums for your health care, your monthly premiums for your life insurance, your monthly uh, fees for your fitness center, um, uh, access, also your qualifying orders, so uh, so you can get a paycheck from us every month. You have to qualify. You might as well get stuff you're going to use or give away to your family members, whatever, okay? 
And this is something that you can put together, and we will train you for nothing. You can save your family with this information. You can save your kids and grandkids. You can save your neighbors, your church mates, your work mates. Remember, the government has failed us. Remember, the medical system has failed us. So we as parents and grandparents have to step up to the plate and learn how to do these things ourselves. Again, we want you to think of Yongevity as the Amazon.com, the AutoZone, Pep Boys, Home Depot, Lowe's, and self-care, okay? We want you to think, why, why do people do all those things themselves? Why do they go to those places? Okay, there's many, many reasons why they want to remodel their own homes, change the parts on their own car, maintain their own car, why they want to maintain their own homes, okay? Um, it's cheaper. You know what's going on. You know the quality of the parts you're buying. And it's an amazing thing when you, when you protect yourself. You're going to have 25 to 50 healthy years yourself, your kids, grandkids, and everybody else in your family, your neighbors and workmates. Okay? you got to do it. Government's failed us. Medical system has failed us. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? Well, I thought we'd continue talking about weight gain and weight loss as I have a uh, Fox News story here headlined, To Keep the Weight Off, Keep Tracking Your Diet. Say keeping track of foods you eat is an important strategy for weight loss. Continuing to monitor is also important to prevent regaining the weight. New study finds that stopping food tracking is linked to regaining weight. They said to prevent regaining weight, people should make an effort for four months after they start dying to focus, refocus on food tracking. This was all presented at the American Heart Association's annual meeting, and they found that people that tended to stop dietary monitoring after about four months were more likely to regain weight. According to Quang Ma, a public health researcher at the University of Pittsburgh and the lead author, they said the effects of food tracking or dietary self-monitoring on weight loss have been well studied and the technique is a key component of uh, what researchers call the standard behavioral treatment. People who want to lose weight and keep it off, this tr type of treatment is the most effective non-medical approach to weight loss. In the study, they looked at uh, data from 137 people who participated in a one-year weight loss intervention called Empower. And they say a majority of the people in the study were white women on average age 51 and had a BMI of 34.1. People with a BMI 30 or more are considered obese. And they asked them to weigh themselves regularly with a digital scale and then uploaded the data in real time and to, to monitor their diet using a smartphone app. And everyone in the study initially lost weight. Nearly three-quarters of the people in the study ultimately regained some of the weight. In addition, 62% of the participants stopped tracking what they were eating at some point during the study. They said on average, if people track their diet for about 126 days, or in other words, about four months. They say people uh, did not uh, gain weight immediately after they stopped. It took a couple of months to lose weight or to gain weight after they stopped uh, tracking their food. And I found that interesting because not one mention of nutritional supplementation as a way to get rid of the cravings so you can lose some weight. Well, thank you, thank you so much, Doug, because you've you found uh, this is the the fallacy of the approach that the medical system and the government's using. They believe it has to do with eat less and exercise more. That's been a failed theory for 125 years. And so Young Givity has come up with what we call the keto diet. We have a, sh a shake, a meal replacer, and we also have a, um, a bar, meal replacer, protein, fat bar, okay? And um, it has, I think the shake has uh, two carb units, and the bar has one carb unit. And um, it's called the keto caramel diet. And you can have the shake for breakfast, have the bar for lunch, have a dinner, and then have a little half a bar or a snack before bedtime. And you get your calories down below 1,000 calories a day doing it that way. And um, you take your 90 essential nutrients. You could even make it simple. Use the healthy weight loss pack. Or you can, if you have other issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, and so on, you have to deal with those with the secret sauces for those particular issues. But also, you want to add the REV, R-E-V, okay? And it's designed to support and promote healthy weight loss using the... the um, uh, keto caramel diet, okay? And it's all sort of pre-packaged for you. And you lose a half pound, two pounds a day. And the magic is you'll never gain the weight back as long as you stay on the diet. Uh, it's all prepared for you. 
and also um, take the Rev. It's, it's magic. You don't even need to exercise. Okay? Thank you so much, Doug. And we'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, uh, let's go to callers. Let's head to Miami, Florida, and Brenda, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Brenda, you're Hi. on the air. Hi. Thank you. Hi, you? this is Brenda. Mm-hmm. How can we help you? Hello? Yes. Hello, I, hello. I'm trying to get, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can yeah. you hear me? Oh, okay. I'm trying to get some assistance. I have a um, client, I, I sell longevity, longevity, and he has, colon cancer that has this metastasized into the lungs and they gave him a chemo for the lungs but it caused him to lose weight now he can keep food down he lost 40 pounds when he eats he vomits if he walk around to take a shower he vomits and i'm trying to see what can we do to help sure. him okay how much does he weigh now probably about 140 he was like um 210 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay all right so um, obviously, he's in trouble. <clears throat> when you get metastatic cancer of any type, the colon cancer can go to the lungs and the brain and the and the uh, liver and that sort of stuff and be very, very serious stuff. It can be life-threatening, obviously. This is a life-threatening situation. And so what we want to do is get nutrition into him. At the same time, um, we want to um, calm his, his um, digestive system down, and we also need to uh, support his immune system. And so, Char, where would you start on a diet for this friend of Brenda's? Well, he'd have to get on a gluten-free diet and avoid all the bad stuff like oils and fried foods and all the bad stuff. And okay. then he would have to get on at least one healthy brain and heart pack, and he needs some other products along with that to help uh, deal with the cancer, obviously. Okay, so support the immune system. Right. Okay, let the immune system deal with the cancer. Okay, now, um, what I would do, what would you do to calm down his digestive system in addition to getting rid of the fried foods, the processed meats, deli slices, sandwich meat, sausage, ham, bacon, bologna, salami, that kind of stuff, get rid of all the oils, no microwave popcorn, no theater popcorn, absolutely no olive oil, coconut oil, margins, mayonnaise, salad dressing, cooking oils, no gluten, no wheat brought around oats, all that's got to go forever and ever. And then what would, what would you do, uh, this next piece, to calm his digestive system down? Well, he could try the enzymes and see if that helps. Okay. And I would go ahead and start him with the ultimate enzymes. He could take one, say, five minutes before each meal with just a couple ounces of water. Try that. Okay. And if that uh, causes him to throw up, then I would take um, uh, one of those enzymes and open it up and put it into a tablespoon of applesauce and let him swallow that. Okay. So that sometimes you can swallow applesauce. Um, uh, also, what, what, which one of our aromatherapy oils would you add to that oh. program for? The peppermint, peppermint yeah, oil. There you go. Absolutely, peppermint oil. I'd go ahead and put five or six drops of peppermint oil from our ancient legacy division in a coffee mug full of warm water and let him sip on that for a half hour before he eats. And hang on, we got to run one of those message moments, Brenda. We'll finish up <clears throat> the support stuff and then get him into a full program after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to Florida and Brenda. And um, in addition to getting rid of all the bad foods, um, getting on uh, the ultimate enzymes, getting on the um, five or six drops of the peppermint oil, as Char said, in an eight-ounce mug of warm water and kind of have that guy sip on this stuff. Um, I would also have him use the um, uh, shake, okay, the Slender Effect shake, Make it with heavy ripping, whipping cream or half and half. Make it with water like the instructions say. You can lose weight. We don't want that. But the heavy whipping cream or the half and half um, will actually uh, allow him to maintain muscle mass and actually gain some weight a little bit. And uh, the secret here is I throw in a couple of eggs, some ice, and the you want, as Char said, one healthy brain and heart pack for 100 pounds of body weight. And so I would just give him one, since he's throwing up a lot, I'd give him one another brain and heart pack, and I would give him a half a dose of everything at breakfast, say breakfast shake, and one at a dinner shake, and you can put ice in it, blend it up with that egg and everything, and we're talking about, is it going to be a cold shake, very thick, he can use a spoon to eat it, 
uh, and I would just use like a teaspoon for, you know, and a half hour later do another teaspoon, a half hour later do another teaspoon. So it might take two or three hours to eat that shake. Or you can freeze it and make an ice cream out of it and do the same thing. Let him eat a teaspoon, half hour later, another teaspoon, half hour. That way we're talking about he's going to keep it down. Nobody throws up a teaspoon of anything unless they're terminal. I mean, they only got minutes to live kind of thing, right? So you have to find a way to get nutrition and make it work. Okay, one last thing here, Char. What would you give him to help him retain fluids? Because uh, you have to maintain fluid balance if you're going to survive. What would you use to get fluids into him? Salty food, right? No. Okay, I mean, what, what, which one of Longevity's sports drinks would you use? Oh, uh, Rebound. Very good. The other sports drinks have, you know, for instance, um, uh, Gatorade has two nutrients. Powerade has six. Our Rebound has 100, okay, including all the electrolytes and everything. And uh, whichever one that works, I, I, you might even put some of the Rebound into the shake if he likes that. We have chocolate if he likes that. Um, you can give him the triple treat chocolate. Um, I would also throw in, what, what antioxidants would you throw in? I, I'd give him a liquid antioxidant. Which one would you give him? Um, the, the, uh, the radical. Perfect. Uh, you get an A plus here. I would go ahead and give him the Z radical. And again, I'd give him a teaspoon, maybe four or five times a day, an hour apart. And, uh, the same way with the <clears throat> rebound sports drink. If he can only keep down a tablespoon, that's what you give him. If he can keep down a half a cup, that's what you give him. Okay. Uh, certainly no soft drinks and none, even carbonated water and that sort of stuff can't have. Okay, call me when you get more information, Brenda. Call me every couple of weeks. Let me know how this fellow is doing. And uh, and also prayer is needed here because this is a very serious, life-threatening situation. And stick with us. We'll be back with Dead Doctors. Don't laugh at these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to California. And Madru, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Madru, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. I Hi. have a uh, 92-year-old woman. She's willing to take the nutrients. The only issue is that she, that she can't get rid of that soda. And so can you just just say two minutes or uh, one minute or half a minute on that and then tell me what she needs? Okay, you're talking about the soft drinks? You say soda? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, the problem with soft drinks are they're carbonated. They will neutralize stomach acid and... Uh, um, reduce significantly the efficiency of absorption of uh, minerals, reduce the efficiency of absorption of B12 because you require a very seriously acid environment in your stomach for, um, um, for B12 to be absorbed because the intrinsic factor that's required to bind with B12 requires a very acid diet. You're not going to be able to digest proteins down to amino acids because the um, enzyme okay, required to do that, um, actually requires uh, the uh, environment to be really, really acid, okay? We're talking about pepsin, and pepsin requires an acid environment to digest proteins down to um, amino acids. So you must have an acid environment. Also, there's a lot of phosphoric acid in soft drinks, even even the diet ones, and that's because um, it gives it that zippy kind of factor, but it also messes up the calcium-phosphorus ratio. For a 92-year-old woman, we're talking about serious risk of osteoporosis and arthritis, falling and fracturing a hip and, and dying three days later from a stroke and all this kind of stuff. And so there's nothing good about soft drinks. Now, on the other hand, if she wants to use our non-carbonated rebound, which has 100 nutrients in it, okay, either in the stick, uh, make individual doses, or the canister where she can use a scoop and make her own doses, neither of those are carbonated. Okay, we do have cans which are carbonated. She can only drink those in between meals. Can't drink the carbonated drink with meals. Even our drink is carbonated. Can't drink with meals. The non-carbonated form you can. Okay, it, um, what does she weigh? You think? Uh, she weighs a hundred and thirty pounds, and she's got a little bit of dementia. Okay, okay, Charmaine, what would you do for a hundred and thirty pound, ninety-year-old woman who's got a little bit of dementia and just? Uh, we don't know anything else, whether she's got arthritis or diabetes, or but she's got she's 90 years old and has dementia. What would you do for her, um, um, supplement wise? I would get her on a healthy brain and heart pack, and I would also add the de stress, and I would add the uh, classic, the ultimate daily classic, and the niacin plus, 
And then she needs to eat a lot of eggs and stuff. Yep, perfect. Okay, just as Char said here, Madrew, uh, you're going to need to get her on one healthy brain and heart pack per month. Uh, cut it in half, so she's getting half a dose of everything at breakfast, half a dose of everything at dinner time. And as Char said, she needs about uh, six eggs a day, either soft boiled with a soft yolk, soft poached with a soft yolk, soft, soft scrambled with butter, not oils and margins, that kind of stuff. Uh, she'll also need the, um, what did you say here, Char? I would I would get her the, the de-stress and I would get her the uh, the uh, Ultimate daily, daily Classic? Yeah, because if it's a plugged up arteries and stuff, you don't know. Exactly. Okay, so there you go. Ultimate Daily Classic, I'd go ahead and um, optimally she should have three twice a day, be two bottles a month of the Ultimate Daily Classic. Um, when it comes to the de-stress capsules, I have her take two or three of those twice a day. It's, in both cases, that's uh, two bottles a month of the de-stress and also of the Ultimate Daily Classic. And uh, that pretty much covers uh, the dementias, as long as she's getting those eggs. Uh, and, um, uh, yeah, that will cover all the dementias. Okay? So um, give us a call. Let us know how this lady's doing. And um, I'd say two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. And um, thank you so much, Char. You got an A-plus. Thank you. We haven't heard from you in a while, Madrew. We'd always love to hear from you. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Well, let's stay in California and head to Ricardo. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Ricardo. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, sir. I have my brother who has a uh, three-month-old uh, baby, and he was diagnosed with biliary atresia. And um, they had a procedure done on him. It's called Kasai. And now he's at home recovering, but they want to go the longevity way to repair his uh, the liver, which was damaged into the biliary. Sure. What does he What does he weigh? What does he weigh? He is at about uh, almost fifteen pounds now. Okay. Yeah, a little underweight for for three months, but you expect that with a liver problem. Okay. Um, let's see here. What would you do for this little guy here, Shar? Um, he's about the size of Coco, your dog. Okay. So what would you do? What would you do for this little guy? Well, I I would give him all the stuff, only the dose for for his weight. Mm-hmm. Basically, he okay. can he can have sure. all the well, nutrients. What do, yeah, what I would do is give him the Tropical Plus. Very easy, tastes good, easy to dose, and it's a teaspoon for twenty pounds of body weight. So I'd give him a teaspoon at breakfast and a teaspoon at dinner time uh, of the Tropical Plus. And how would you get the extra calcium in him, and how would you get the extra EFAs into him? Well, the the calcium is easy. That's a liquid. You just can, you know, add it to his milk. And the EFAs, I would squeeze out into applesauce or something and give him that. That's how I do it with my dogs. I have to squeeze them. They're so little. Okay. So Char's exactly right here, Ricardo. Um, for the calcium, I'd go ahead and get the liquid form of the OsteoFX Plus and go ahead and give him a teaspoon of breakfast, a teaspoon of dinner time. I'd also uh, give him two a day of the EFAs, not the fish ones, you know, but the EFAs, the EFA plus is fishy, but the EFAs are not, as, okay? And you can go ahead and puncture them, as Charles says, squeeze them uh, into the formula or into the baby's mouth, and after a while they begin to look forward to it, and uh, that's going to cover all of the needs of that child. And uh, one other thing I would add uh, is the selenium because of the liver. I'd go ahead and add the selenium, one capsule a day. I would go ahead and give them a half of that capsule um, well, I'd give him a half a capsule a day, okay? Uh, so one capsule of, this, of our slim is going to last two days. Uh, give him a half a capsule, then give him a half of that half, a quarter of a capsule at breakfast and with his other supplements and the other quarter at dinner time with the other supplements. And that's going to really re- deal with it because um, the liver does require a lot of selenium. The liver health was how they found out that selenium was an essential nutrient. So we know a lot about the selenium needs of the liver. If the, uh, do you know if the child is being breastfed? Uh, no, at this time it's not. Yeah, okay, so we need to do this, okay, for the child's benefit and gain weight faster and all the liver tests in the blood will show up good. Keep us informed. We love kids. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages.
back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jimmy, the Ninth Plan Crusade. And Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Salinas, California. Ed Tayra, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Tayra, you're on the air. Hello, um, I'm new to this product, and I just recently found out that I am pregnant. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. My issue here is I've had a chronic cough for many, many years, and I've, you know, it's never gone away. And now, every time I cough, I feel like a pressure that um, in my lower stomach. Okay, how far along are you in your pregnancy? I'm three months. Okay. And how much do you weigh? I am 165. Okay, and do you have any skin issues, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, dry skin? Um, I, not, well, I do have acne, um, and it mm-hmm. hasn't gone away either. And I'm how, how old are you? 29. 29? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, did you have asthma as a kid or bronchitis or anything like that? Um, I probably had, did I have? I had asthma um, okay. as I was younger. Okay, we only have a f- yeah, we only have a few moments here. So, what what's Tara's basic underlying problem here, Charmaine? She's probably got a gluten intolerance. I would yeah, I'd bet on that. I would bet you're right, dear. Okay, and so what we need to do here? Uh, she weighs 165 pounds. She's three months pregnant. The baby's already farmed here. We need to. Uh, she's got this chronic cough, which will go back to the. Uh, gluten intolerance also, um, same thing that causes uh, asthma and dry skin and that kind of stuff, constipation, diarrhea. And uh, the quicker we get her off of gluten, no fried food, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, wheat, barley, rye, and oats, all that's got to go. Otherwise, the child will be born with it, and so you have to really watch it when the baby's born, make sure that uh, everything is gluten-free, especially if you're going to breastfeed the baby. I mean, everything's got to be gluten-free, including everything, the dog, cat, bird, fish, blah, blah, blah. And um, so what would you give her? Uh, she's three months long pregnancy. What would you give her at 165 pounds, Charmaine? I'd give her two healthy brain and heart packs myself. Okay. If uh, I start out with one and get through a week or two, okay. making sure you can hold it down. And then if, that, if you hold it down, no problem. Then I would do what Char says, go up to two. I would start out with one, a half a dose of everything twice a day. And you get by a week or two and you're able to hold it down, no problems, then I would ramp up to two um, a month, which would allow you to take a full dose twice a day at that point. And um, you have to watch out for that gluten. I mean, go around the house. We're talking about mother-in-law, spouse, partner, um, other kids if you have them. We're trying to, they have to be gluten-free. Your brothers and sisters got to be gluten-free. Your sister's uh, kids have to be gluten-free. And... Your aunties and uncles on your mama's side got to be gluten-free, and your nieces and nephews from your aunties on your mama's side got to be gluten-free. I mean, you're going to save lives here if you pass on that information. And so uh, give us a call in a couple of weeks. You can start the diet immediately. The fact that you're in California, um, when you get your order put in, the quicker the better. Uh, you will be able to get it in just a day or two, you know, working days. And so that's a good thing. But start the diet as soon as you hang up. And, uh, we'll, we, you know, you'll be at the best possible thing to do the best possible thing to this child. Okay? Um, we, have you had an ultrasound or anything like that? Not yet, no. Okay. No. And so, uh, yeah, you, you want to you, you have one to make sure the baby's okay, so you, you're be, being prepared for when the baby's born, right? Mm-hmm. I start cleaning the house and getting the house gluten-free, start eating everything gluten-free. Everybody in the household has got to be eating gluten-free right now. And that way, when the baby comes, everybody's in the system and all the gluten's out of the house and so on. Okay, give me a call in two weeks and four weeks and six weeks. Anytime you go to the doctor and he gives you some kind of appraisal, if you get a uh, ultrasound or an amniocentesis, we'd like to know the results of those things, too. Okay, Doug, how much time we have here? Well, that says it all. Well, thank you, everybody. Really great testimonies and questions today. Thank you so much, Char. Superlative job as usual. Thank you so much, Doug and Sam. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless 